Hello everyone, such a blessing coming your way once again with God's word. The word of God tells us that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. And it's such a blessing to know that and also to experience that in our lives every day as we walk with Jesus. Glory to God. Hi. Today once again with my good friend Sandra. It's always a blessing having you around. You I will believe that today we're going to have an exciting moment in the world. Hi. Glory to God. Alright, we're talking about the subject uh, spirituality. You know, kind of a familiar term, and uh, though there's a lot of misunderstanding as to what it really is. And, you know, just like I, you know, uh, Brother Hagen usually uh, use that expression that sometimes in order to tell what something is, it always helps, you know, to tell what it's not. Yeah. Okay, so I want to ask first of all, what is spirituality? Wow. Well, can you help us first tell us what it's not so that we can be on our way to discovering what it is okay um actually the word spirituality as you said is okay. quite familiar but then um it's it's usually misunderstood by yeah. many people Very well. many people um define spiritualities based on maybe their traditions wow. Wow. their ideologies traditions yeah wow. and then they just and they said this is spiritual. Wow. Yes. Wow. I think like most of us in the Africans, we have that kind of challenge. Okay. Yes. We just like to introduce traditions. So even in churches, we will find some elements of traditions and all those things are being counted as spiritual. Wow. Wow. So spirituality, what is not is um spirituality is not based on your own idea. Wow. Or what Th that's you call big. spirituality. That's big. That's big. It's not your idea. Wow. Spirituality is simple. It's been um Spirituality is being in the spirit, it's being led <laughs> by the Holy Spirit. Oh, that's, that's what powerful. spirituality that's is basically is. I like the fact you said it's not based on our own ideas. Yeah. You know, today we have doctrines in churches yeah. that actually try to explain to us what spirituality is. Now, we're not against church doctrines. We believe that some of those doctrines are based on the understanding of those who kind of brought yeah. them, put them yeah. together and all yeah. of that. Yeah. But I think it's important that we find out what God's word says about things about you know like spirituality yeah. you know generally it, it's very important we are very careful about where we get the information we get about mm -hmm. things you know for example today we have you know we, we live in a, in, a, in a generation where words don't really mean much we just use them based on what everybody says everybody it is and very few people actually take the time to go and study to find out what it really is yeah. you know i like the fact you said it's not based on our ideas mm -hmm. that's powerful mm -hmm. you know that means it, it makes us to want to think again yeah. What is what was a spirituality from the word of God? What does yeah. the word actually have to say about spirituality? Now, I want to add this because uh, we are talking about what is not first. Yeah. You know, before we talk about what it is, I like the fact you talked about being led by the Spirit of God. That's what it is. Mm. Okay. What, are the, what spirituality is not, which I know is a familiar thing, something people think it is, is not being spooky. Yeah. You know, that whole ghosty thing, you know. You know, <laughs> you know, some people when they want to reach out to someone, maybe the lost out there who is not born again, they might want to say something like, uh, hello, I come to you in the name of Jesus. Of course, we know that that is not bless spirituality. You. Some, <laughs> bless you, brother, bless you, sister, and all our Christianese and all of that. Yeah. And some other, uh, uh, I think another misconception as to what spirituality really is, is people think it's the way I look physically, yeah. you know, yeah. like the yeah. outward look, yeah. you know, the way I dress. Now, of course, real spirituality that is from within, should have an outward expression yeah but then yeah. you can't define it from the outside mm -mm. you know we live from the inside the Bible says to work out our salvation that god has worked something on the inside the real thing is on the inside and then it's just a manifestation yeah. but imagine if it's the other way around maybe you're trying to put up a form okay. that will never work on the inside it has to be from the outside uh, out i mean from east from inside outward the glory yeah, to god yeah. now there's something I, I really want you said it's being led by the spirit of god that's powerful mm -hmm. I, I think uh, it's also connected to this you know when we say our uh, spirituality is life in the spirit yeah. you know you talk about being led by the spirit it's, it's, it's just about the same thing because yeah, yeah, yeah. you can't talk about spirituality without talking about the holy spirit yeah you know i think one of the mis uh, mistakes we actually make is that many times we think that uh when you talk about the spirit world or the spirit realm, we think it's just talking about good spirits. Mm -hmm. No, the spirit realm actually consists of good spirits, evil spirits, everything spiritual, and it's actually a real world, more real than this. Why? Because everything that exists in this world came from that world. Oh, yeah. Glory to God. Oh, yeah. And so we see that spirituality actually has a lot to do with what's going on on the inside as a result of the working of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It also has to do with how conscious we are about the spirit world yeah. glory to god so i want to ask can we measure spirituality now before before i ask that question i think it's also important we say this 
that spirituality has a lot to do with spiritual maturity, like what we call Christian maturity. It's like whatever we are defining spirituality to, to be right now, actually is we are on our way to defining what it means to be mature spiritually. Yeah, so right. I, I believe we need to have that in mind as we go on with this. So I want to ask, can we measure our levels of spirituality? Can it be measured? Wow, okay. Um, like you said, okay. that spirituality, of course, you matured in the spirit. Sure. For me, sure. if there is any measurement, then it should be based on that. Okay. So, if I'm yielding to the spirit, like yesterday, maybe I find it difficult to yield to the spirit, okay. or I find it difficult to hear him. Yeah. So, I will check between yesterday and today how yielded am I today? Okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, that's just the measurement. It's not based on. Um, what I wear, okay. or how many times I go to church, sure. how many sure. times I pray. Mm. No, that's not that's not how spirituality is being measured. Okay. You know, as surprisingly, many people when they say, "Let's pray for our spiritual life," this okay. is what they have at the back of their mind. <laughs> that God should help me to be reading the Bible more, mm. to be praying more, wow. to be going wow. to church more. Yeah. Do you understand? Mm. Yes, to be not. I mean, to lift those weaknesses. Okay. And when we are praying, we are not praying that God should help us. We are okay. just, we are just praying. Then we are laying some criteria. Yeah, we, we don't see those to, things as a means to an end. We yes. see them as the end themselves. As the end wow, themselves. Wow. So yeah. that's not how to measure spirituality. Okay. So you can't tell me that I'm more spiritual this year because I do more of the, of the prayer to, uh, okay. of this uh, this year, okay. or I do more of study this year, okay. or I do more of this this year. If you look at it, Jesus was. Um, trying to correct many people, especially with the Pharisees, we have mm. a lot of challenge wow. with them wow. because wow. these are people with so much. They uphold religion so much. Yeah. Yes. So in their own context, they are very spiritual. Jesus was the was so unspiritual wow. person during their wow. time. Based on their own definition. <laughs> Based on wow. their own definition. Wow. Wow. Because and they were wrong. Yes. Wow. They were very wrong. So you could hear Jesus saying that um, you draw to me with your lips, but wow. your heart is not That's... from me. So wow. you can be praying from now till January. If your heart is not with God, wow. Wow. then you can't say I've grown. So, so that means spirituality has a lot to do with what's going on on the inside. Yes. Wow. What is going so, on in the so, so that means we can now say spirituality is living from the inside. Yes, outwards. Wow, that's powerful. <laughs> okay, now, from what you shared, you're talking about maturing spirituality in your own life as an individual. It's just like say, being sincere before God. Yeah, having, sincere. When we understand what it really is, then yeah. we apply it to our lives. Yeah. Am I really spiritual? Yeah. So let me ask, can you measure another person's level of spirituality? <laughs> I understand that it has a lot to do with what's yes, going on on the inside. Yeah, yeah. But there are certain fruits. You see. Yeah. yeah. Now, now you see, we're talking about this. There's, there's the aspect where we're dealing with the forms, the form of godliness, but no mm, power. No power. Yeah. But can we? There are there some other virtues that you can see in someone mm, mm, because you can't see their hearts. So are there things? Because those things might somehow appear similar to the form. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So are there other things that scripturally we can look at and say this is a manifestation of true spirituality? Yeah. 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 In some other person's sure, life. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, yes, you can. Actually, when you ask the question, what came to my mind is the fruit or the outcome of mm. what you do. Okay. Like, if you see it, we could say, oh, wow, this person has grown. I remember I've, I've told someone before uh, yeah. when I was serving in the garden. Okay. Uh, the, the person I've been preaching where I was serving, but when mm. he left and he came back one certain time and he preached, so I, I met him, I said, you've grown. And he was mm. like, how do you know? Mm. Now, this is my judgment. The way he handles the world. Okay. Totally. There's there was more depth to it. And you know that this one you didn't get it by books. Mm, it's mm, it's it's mm. basically by revelation. Wow. You could hear his experiences with God. You could wow. hear how yielded he has been. Wow. And then you could see normally a spiritual man in quote. Okay. Like those that embrace the yeah, form. Yeah, they yeah. don't want to be confronted that you're wrong. Mm, 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 they always mm. have this wow. defensive but you could see him correcting himself. Wow. And then I didn't notice that before. Okay. So when I when I saw that in him, I said, "Wow, you've grown." And wow. he was wondering why. Wow. wow. So for me, of course, when you see some fruit, you know that wow, this person has that. Because okay. what the world sees is the fruit. It's not what yeah. really comes out. I would say by their fruit, you shall know them. Yes. So, but now how how do we tell the difference between one who is putting up a show and one who is actually having the genuine fruit? Like, what are the, are the parameters by which we can measure that? Okay. As for me, I think it's just a very simple thing for me. I have the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. Every believer has the Holy Spirit. Okay. You understand? Okay. The Bible says, judge every spirit. Okay. I, do, I have a way of knowing this, that even if a minister stands to, maybe what he's preaching, if it's not connected to it, I know 
Okay. I just know that you just want to dish this out and go. So you can so know somehow, by the spirit. Yes, I can wow. pick it by the spirit that this person is, this is just, just a form. It's just reading some things and go. Wow. But then you could also pick it that what this person is saying is genuine. Wow. And most times, what changes you if you relate to another person, it will have more effect on that person. Wow. Wow. Most times, that's how it is. Well, you know this, this is so powerful because when we talk about the place of the Holy Spirit in helping us to understand the genuine fruits. Mm. I think sometimes that's really the challenge because yeah. you see everybody like let's say on it i think one of the places you don't want to really measure spiritually is on a sunday service yeah everybody's at his best <laughs> we put up the costume yeah. the smile yeah. bless you brother yeah. bless you. blessed and highly favored mm. you know jesus is on the throne all is well you know all those church language church language <laughs> like we, we put on the costume yeah. for church yeah. and you know we, those things are not really but from what you're sharing by the spirit we can really Oh boy, it's so powerful. It's just like, since that same spirit is at work in me, yeah, yeah. and it's actually at work in that individual, you can tell that this is not counterfeit. Yeah. Because exactly. we're, we are not safe if we have to just go by what we see. Yeah. yeah not because, there, there, you know, there's so much error going on in the world today. And mm -hmm. some of the, you know, mm -hmm. I discovered that one of the things when it comes to counterfeit, if something just looks different from the original, you can easily tell. Yeah. But sometimes, imagine 90% truth, 10% poison. How poisonous is it? There is still very, very poisonous. Yeah. So you see that we, we live in a time where we can't but live by the Spirit. You know, I love the definition. You said being led by the Spirit of God. That's it. And from what I actually said, I, I actually said that spirituality is actually life in, in the, spirit. the Spirit. And this is actually a conscious thing. It's not something you... you know, first, I like the fact that you talked about how we can tell in our own lives mm -hmm. before we can even talk about someone. Because if you don't know if you're genuine, you yeah. can't tell if someone else is genuine. Yeah. So what God is working on the inside of you is so real, it's so tangible, you, you, you know it, mm -hmm. but you're actually growing in the Spirit. You know, just like we are growing in the physical world. Yeah, yeah. You know, there are some people who the, the, the realm of the Spirit is so strange to them. It's like they don't even know they have a life there. So they're not even growing. It's like a baby who was born and just left to himself, you know, and all of that. So they have not even considered life in the spirit. Mm. To them, the realm of the spirit is that realm we don't know about what's going on there. But it's a real world. Glory to God. And think about the Father. It's even more real than the physical world. Yeah. Why? Because everything that we can see, touch, feel, and all of that with our senses actually came from the realm of the spirit. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. And so I believe that there are parameters we can measure. I'm, I'm just going to list this out and then we're going to come back. We're going to have a conversation kind of we're going to talk about them just about three things i believe from god's word we can scripturally tell the level of spirituality in a man i'm not trying to say that you're going to go around trying to diagnose someone what's your level of spirituality no we can't do that we can't do that but there are, there are just in, in the same in the light of what jesus said by their fruit you shall know them so there are certain things that we can first you know when i mention these things these are things you can Test yourself first of all. Then you look out for these in others. When you see those fruit manifesting, yeah. you know that this is spirituality. So the first one has to do with our love work. Yeah. Walking in love, I tell you, you know, First Corinthians chapter. I, I don't want to start going into that, but First Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse three. It's it's always it's a scripture that's so powerful. Now, when I talk about love, different things come to people's mind. Yeah. To some people, it's an emotion. Mm. To some of them, it's just one affection. No, we're talking about the God kind of love. The Greek word is agape. You've heard it before. It actually means God, the, the nature, the very nature of God Himself. The Bible says he is love. God is love. And then verse 3 of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 actually says that if you have not love, he said that you are nothing. And it's just so amazing that God judges our status not from the physical, from the spiritual. Yeah. So you could be something in the physical, but as long as you have not love, and I like the fact you say have not love. You need to say have no love because every Christian has love. Romans chapter 5 verse 5 actually says that the love of God has been shared abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. So as long as you're born again, you have the Holy Spirit, you have the love of God. But yeah. if you are not walking in love, according to that scripture, it says you have not love. That means you are not actively walking in love. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that more. Then the second thing where we can judge is how real the realm of the Spirit is to you. Where do you live for? from? I mean, what's your reality? You know, and all of that. Then the third aspect of it has to do with the fruit of the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5 from verse, uh, uh, first of all, verse 16 actually says, we walk in the Spirit. That talks about life in the Spirit. Then 22 and 23 talks about the fruit, the manifestation of the Spirit. And by the way, the fruit of the Spirit is not referring to the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not bear fruit. Jesus says, I am the vine and ye are the branches. What part of the tree bears fruit? The branches. 
So, but it's as a result of the inspiration, the working of the Holy Spirit in a recreated human spirit, we produce those fruits, and love is one of them. So we're going to come back with this conversation, and we're going to be giving a little bit more detail with this, and I believe that you are really in for a great time, because I, I think this is really a crown of it. When we can tell the, the, the crux of the matter when it comes to our life, you know, talking about how uh, spiritual we are, how well, because it is not something you just say, okay, I hope so, I hope I'm spiritual. You can measure it. And I like the fact that we are dealing with God's word on the matter. So please stay tuned. We'll be back shortly. And just click on the next video. God bless you.